Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So we've recently received a brand new ETA hen, as well as a new version of Items Flow. In this video today, I thought we would take a look at both of those and look at some of the features real time on my PlayStation 5. Let's just go ahead and let's ship straight into it. So starting with ETA Hen, we have 1.6B, and in this release, we can see that there was fixed 4.02 support, and then improved rest mode support. I also have ran into multiple instances where coming out of rest mode, either my PlayStation 5, the PS Home button would quit working, or something of that nature. Added the controller shortcut for items flow, and how this works is that you come into the settings right here and where it says items flow controller shortcut, you turn that to on. And then what happens is say you're inside of a game and you want to go right back to items flow, you can just press the home button or the PlayStation home button in order to get you there. So a quick demo that was provided was here they are inside of a game. They hold down that button and as you can see right there the shortcut is activated and now items flow launches and then there was just a few other bug fixes down in this so the next application that is brand new is going to be items flow and that has been updated to 1.06 missing ps5 fake game app will now be displayed in items flow for manual removal added an option to show the PS5 FG or fake game info. Items flow will now check the amount of free space before copying or moving, added a new disc icon and added a cover for missing games, and then added a setting to enable a system wide controller shortcut to open items flow. So that's what we just saw just a second ago. And then the rest of this is just a bunch of fixes a Chinese language file, and then just some more performance improvements. So if you want to go ahead and take a look at this, you can definitely just come over to PKG Zone and download the PS5 version. And then pretty much any host that you're currently using, you will be able to get the very updated ETA HEN 1.6B at this point in time. Now, one other thing that Lightning Mods is doing that I absolutely applaud is, is that for those of you who have been wanting to get rid of the donation message that pops up when you open up items flow, you can do that now by donating $10, I believe is the amount in order to get that removed. Let's just go ahead and jump over to the PlayStation 5 and start playing with some of this. Okay, so my console is already running the latest ETA HEN 1.6B, and I've went ahead and I've updated to Items Flow Game Manager 1.06. You'll obviously need to do that in order to see any of this functionality. I'm sure some of you may have a bunch of fake games on your PS, and well, maybe you went and you used something like PS4 Explorer, and maybe you accidentally deleted the games. Well, obviously, if you go to the home menu, you might see something like this right here. This is a game that I went ahead and deleted it out of my data folder, so it is on my system. I typically wouldn't really know much about that because items flow in the past didn't report back that this game doesn't exist. But if I go ahead and I run the very latest version of items flow, it has this really neat feature that will tell you that that files for that game is no longer on the system. So as you can see right here, it says that this is not found. So this is wonderful. Now we've got a bit of a cleanup that is happening. And so if I come back and I go to X on this one, there is just one option here, and that is to remove the virtual app. So now that it's removed, if I go back to my main menu here, you can see that now that has been cleaned up. So that is one feature that I absolutely loved in the very latest version of Items Flow. Now the next feature that I really enjoyed was 
we can now see more information about the fake game. So if we come in here to say Alan Wake Remastered, which is on my system, and I go to where it says show app info and press X, now I've got all kinds of cool information. So it gives you the V app path. So now I can see this is in my slash data slash game versus when I might have used a USB stick and maybe I didn't even know is it pointing towards the one on my internal storage or to my USB stick. Now you can see that information pretty easily. It also has like the title ID, the required SDK version is always something that's fairly interesting to look at. And then there's some more information that comes along with that. That is just another feature that is just brand new in items flow. There is also these brand new disc icons. So this is once I have inserted my copy of Bloodborne into my PlayStation 5. As you can see, it's a beautiful little disc icon that tells you that there's a disc in the system for that game. And then there was an added cover for the missing games. And then the last feature can be found over here in our settings. And if we go to settings, you can see right there, it says items flow controller shortcut. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that to on. And as it says down there at the bottom, it says holding the PS button will open items flow system wide. And that is including inside of a game. Okay, and so once you turn that on, make sure you come down here to save settings or it absolutely will not take. Now, before we run a game and I show this, let me tell you, you will need to turn off the lib hijacker cheats. Now, I talked to Lightning Mods about this and there is obviously something in that that's going to intercept the controller commands. So just make sure you have that turned off before you get started. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to launch Grand Theft Auto 3. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hold the PlayStation button. And there you can see shortcut activated and it is now opening items flow. So anyway, I hope you got something out of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. I just hit 15K. Subscribe to the channel because I would love to have you here and I've got a ton more content coming. Thanks so very much, Michael. Ow! And so a bonus for those that have stayed past the credits again, just like I did in my last video, I wanted to tell you that if you do use PS5 Explorer and you navigate over to slash data slash ETA hen, then you can simply change this setting right here without doing something such as you know, connecting through FileZilla, through FTP, pulling down the config.any file, and then editing it and uploading it. It's just a lot easier to do all of that right here in PS5 Explorer.